train time viewers, we are live here in Farmville, Virginia, and you're at, we're actually standing on the old high bridge. You can see right down there is the original high bridge um, concrete columns. Those were the original ones that were built in the late 1840s, early 1850s. They built this to haul the trains across the river. But later on, the, Confederate, the Confederates said, we're burning down the bridge. And they, they didn't exactly save it, but as time went on, they rebuilt it again. And then on the other side, I don't know if you can actually see this, but I'm going to do it to, to the fence. You see here was supposed to be another rail line. Or another, they were going to double track the bridge. They're thinking, oh, we can put the track back later. No, they actually did not do that. They had actually had made plans to haul the empty cars here and have the loaded cars here. Get yourself a good shot of the mountains up there. You there. And then, this was owned by the Norfolk and Western for a long time. And not too far from here was the old train station. It's something else now, but we'll go and walk along the bridge here for another minute. There's another view area up here. After they rebuilt the bridge, and then time went on, and then in 2005 was the last train that went across this bridge. They retired the bridge and Norfolk Southern, I don't know who, I don't know who gave it to the Parchers. It was Norfolk Southern or somebody like that. Somebody gave them, gave the bridge to the Park Service and actually was able to make this pathway with all the railings, the uh, plastic chain link fence, the pathway, the little viewpoints up here and made all this trail into a trailway. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but let me move the camera a little bit so you can see this. I don't know if you can see it, but way down there are old railroad spikes. Those are from the 1860s. They're very, 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 very rare. You can see them way down there. Another view of them. Skyline. My God, this is beautiful. Just so beautiful. Going back to the other side. And here's another section of where they were going to double track the bridge. And you're approaching the Appomattox River. And we'll get some views of the river here in just a second. You're actually able to ride your bikes and walk this path. Because this is a piece of history right here. This is just incredible. Pathway is made out of two by eight or two by no, this is two by eight. The railings are probably two by six. The posts are four by fours. Some are six by six or eight by eight. 
Now right down there is the Appomattox River, part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. I know you can't see it real good through the fencing, but you can actually see some of it. As you can see right there, you hear the sound of the water. Listen to the sound of the water for a few seconds. Just listen for a second. Gosh, it's beautiful. Comes a, a view from all, from the plains down there. There are a couple little fields down there where the where the uh, area is open. Now now we'll start heading back down. See this 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 was part of the rebuilding process back in the early 1900s. They had state of the art equipment, cranes. Most any propelled machinery helped get this bridge, helped get the bridge built. But everything back in the 1860s was done by hand. It took them two years, I think, to build. It took them two years to build the hand, the um, the original bridge, and it took them less time to build. The improved bridge because they had state-of-the-art equipment and the men lived here and they built this bridge pretty quick get you another view of where they're gonna put the double track they never put the double track they just probably just didn't want to have two trains colliding on the bridge probably just for some safety reasons see I'll give you another shot of that column I know you can't see it through all this fencing, but it's for your safety, but all the spikes and the old plate up there and old railroad, old, old railroad equipment, all those tools right there, they're very, very rare and highly collectible. And see how long this bridge is. So that will wrap it up for this special here on High Bridge. This is Train Time saying we will see you guys back later on at headquarters because we'll be going back tonight. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hail High Bridge and go Norfolk and Western. Long live the NW.